name D. Welcome to my channel. This is a blog to accompany my blog toward the within, a blog about fibromyalgia, psychology, arts, uh, creativity in general. My hope is that this blog will be a more efficient way for me to communicate um, my thoughts with those who follow me on my blog, but also to share with others who may be watching um, about what it's like to live with fibromyalgia. I also live in a foreign country for me. Um, I live in Italy, in Rome specifically, so I will be sharing about what it's like to live in Rome and actually will be not inside this room all the time. Uh, this is just for today. I decided that I really wanted to get this done today or else I would not be doing it ever. Um, so you know, it's, it's going to be a lot of different things, mostly, again, about what it's like to live with fibromyalgia, what it's like to be um, of a different race, of a different culture, living in a foreign country, for me, um, how you can navigate that, uh, as well as um, how to use creativity for a purpose of self-healing, uh, which is part of my background. Uh, just to tell you a little bit about who I am, um, people who are already following my blog and are watching this, you already know. I have been um, an expressive therapist and art therapist, and I work primarily with girls with eating disorders and trauma. My life has since changed, and I'm working towards becoming a professional writer. I work right now um, doing writing as well as translating and some social media things, but I won't go too much into detail about that just now. For today, I just wanted to um, answer some questions uh, that I often get. Um, for example, how did I get to Italy? Uh, where am I from? Uh, what's going to happen now? Uh, so just to back up, I first came to Rome uh, about hmm, a little bit more than four years ago. I came for a visit in October 2010 and decided I really needed to come back and to find out what it was about the city that I really enjoyed. I did not know the language. Um, couldn't speak Italian to save my life. I'm still working on learning how to speak Italian, uh, even though I do translation, I think it's going to be probably a lifelong process, just like even with your own native language, it's a lifelong process of learning um, the nuances of it. So I came in October 2010, I decided to come back and to stay here for a while. I only visited for about 10 days. And then I came back in February of 2011 and spent basically a month and decided really, wow, I really need to know what it is about the city that compels me to to keep coming back to it. So I came back again in April of 2011 and understood that I wanted to find a more permanent way of remaining here. So I moved um, from Boston to here, uh, officially, I guess you could say permanently, of August of 2011 and the way that I, I did that was actually enrolling, re-enrolling in undergraduate. So I studied at a university called John Cabot University and I just graduated from there. And that really was the story. Um, you know, I, I believe in law of attraction. So it was sort of like the universe, you know, was playing the card in such a way that I was meant to be here and so I am here. Now that I've graduated, uh, it seems like I'm going to continue staying on here, and that's fine with me. I love the city. It's chaotic. It's beautiful. It's living in history. Uh, of course, you can do that in many other places, but for me, uh, living in Rome has really been like a homecoming, as odd as that may sound. So the main question that I've been getting um, a lot, actually, since I've graduated, and actually when I was planning to come here, it was what are you going to do now? You know, what are you going to do now that you're in Italy? What are you going to do now that you've graduated from Jan Cabot? Well, the question is, I'm going to continue living. Um, I'm a person who has a chronic illness, and because of that, I have to take things one day at a time, one moment at a time. That is what having fibromyalgia has taught me. Uh, I don't know about anybody else, but I cannot plan uh, for next year. I don't know about next week and I don't know even about tomorrow how I'm going to be, if I'm going to be able to get up and to feel good and whatnot. So I am just going to be taking it one day at a time and um, I would love to stay here. 
for a bit longer. I am working part-time, which suits me and my health in the capacity that works for me and my health. And um, I, I, I want to share more about my travels um, with you with, uh, I know I, I didn't do that at all, at all <laughs> actually over the past uh, three years. I, I kind of shied away from discussing living in Italy uh, since February or March or whatever of 2011 and um, have been mostly focusing on living in Italy as opposed to sharing what it's like to live in Italy. Now I'm, I'm very familiar with Rome. I've traveled around Italy a bit. I've also lived in other countries, so I have a very good sense of, for, at least for myself, of what it's like being a black female traveling around independently, alone, um, I guess you could say, and um, dealing with various things. <clears throat> now, in these years, I have learned what it's like to travel um, as a person with an illness, with a chronic illness. But just to back up a little bit, I, um, I've had fibromyalgia now. At least my diagnosis came about eight years ago. Um, I think I've been dealing with this illness for about nine years um, or so. Actually, maybe it was maybe it was seven years ago I got my diagnosis. Either way, um, you know, it's been some years that I've been living with it, and I tried to do the work full time. I was married at one point. Um, I tried to live a normal life, whatever that was, um, and that didn't work. Um, for me, for my health, for what I was doing. And as such, I made changes and in making those changes that meant um, traveling and actually part of my own sense of recovery or sense of living with fibromyalgia was to travel, was to be able to prove to myself that I could, um, I could do more than just being at home, um, being tired, being in pain. I could live a different life um, than the one that I had been living. Not that there was anything wrong with that life. I love that life. I love the, my former partner. I love the home that we created together. I love my work, the people with whom I worked. It was great. It was wonderful. Um, but for my health, it was not so great. Not that it has been easy <laughs> living here in Italy. Absolutely not. Um, there are challenges. Uh, particular challenges um, in dealing with living with an illness like this, living with fibromyalgia, and also language barrier in living with fibromyalgia and trying to explain to a doctor what that, what that means, what that's about. Um, and I will probably be talking about that more in depth on a different video. But for today, um, this is going long enough. I'm going to stop here and I just want to say thank you um, for watching. Thank you for visiting. Uh, I will do a better job of making this look more professional. But for today, this is what it is. And I hope you enjoyed, um, you know, watching it. And I hope you will come and visit me again on this channel or on my blog, DeidreBlake.wordpress.com and uh, always feel free to shoot me a, an email if you have any question and that's DeidreBlake at gmail.com and I will put all of that in the description box down below. I would invite you to uh, like, to subscribe, uh, to ask questions of any kind whether in comments or as an email. I'm really looking forward to answering any question, all questions, travel related, illness related, whatever, being black, <laughs> being female, I'm um, also queer. So anything you want to ask me, feel free to ask me and um, my hope is that you know I can start to build a community um, you know, here. So thank you for watching and I'll see you another time.